Hello Taurus, this is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration and here at this channel we help you lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. Well, if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so very much for stopping by and frequent flyers, welcome aboard again. We're here for your February 2019 meeting for sun, moon and rising. If this does not resonate with you as your sun sign, please as I put up the other zodiac signs um, today um, please check those out and uh, see if your moon or your rising um, resonates a little bit better all right so let's get into it Taurus you've got an overall energy you got an interesting February reading in front of me here overall energy I think you're coming into this month we've got hopefulness with the three of wands, there's an expectation, there's a feeling of hopefulness. Hopefulness. You also have Uranus trans transiting into your sign, if I remember correctly. Uh, this could be an interesting time period, okay, for you, Taurus, um, because there's a lot of uncertainty, upheaval, things of that nature. So we've got three of wands coming in. We also have the seven of wands. So what I'm going to say is, yes, be hopeful, but be on a little bit of guard. Uh, be sure your boundaries are good. Be sure you're not overly expecting. Watch your expectations of others and watch their motivations as well. Your desire is good and your thought pattern and, you know, your desired outcome here is good. Just be sure. Okay. Um, and also fight for what's right. Okay. Be willing to dig your heels in and fight for what's right. You do have the three of crystals as well. So I, I am seeing a uh, good manifestation, yes, but... There's a couple of threes here. We have another three in your reading. There's some partnerships, some alignments that just aren't mm, quite, something's not right, something's up, okay? Um, just be careful of people's motivations. Um, all that glitters isn't gold, okay? All right, coming into the reading the first week of February, unfortunately we do have the Three of Swords. Um, and again, that to me feeds into this overall energy that I'm sensing for this month for you guys. Um, again, I feel like there's going to be some disappointments or there have been recently disappointments as we're coming in. Some partners that you thought were going to be good or uh, individuals in your circle that you thought were really going to be very helpful along your ascension, awakening, spiritual journey just aren't. It hasn't been bearing out to be what you thought it was going to be. Um, yep, awakening. Uh, be very careful. As you're going through this awakening process, Taurus, there's a lot of people that are out here that say, I can help you. I know what, what this awakening process really entails. Um, you know, they've got a lot of, you know, but really be very aware and very astute and very discerning of what teacher you're actually putting yourself, you're submitting yourself to, if you will. Um, be Allow your spirit to really guide you to someone that has your true best interest at heart, to someone that's operating with integrity, both in this world, or should I say, you know, publicly and privately, not that you need to know people's private business, but walking a line of integrity, especially if you're a spiritual teacher, a mentor, walking that life is critical. Um, the purity is critical. I apologize. Uh, so just be very astute, okay? Be very careful. I feel like there's there's someone that's been a spiritual teacher, spiritual mentor in your life um, or who you thought was really spiritual and man, they've been a really big disappointment 
And um, you're kind of kicking yourself with the Ten of Swords with guilt, burden, shame. Don't. Um, you've been feeling left out in the cold with the Five of Cups. But justice is on its way. Okay? Um, they will get theirs. And always remember, you get in, you get out what you put in. Okay? The scales will always be balanced. Second week, we do have the Two of Cups. Um... So you have someone new coming in that looks potentially like it could be good. Um, and in fact, the universe with, with the Star Child Tarot deck that I'm using, that's the world card. So it does see that I do see where there's a new chapter opening, potentially some new contracts, um, new business deals, new business ventures. Um, but I'm still feeling this overbearing and yep, and some new partnerships with the Three of Crystals. Remember, test it out. I feel like also you're going to get multiple offers of people willing to come alongside of you and work with you. Multiple. Or you could have multiple suitors, right? Or multiple offers. Um, vet them. Put them through the paces. Keep that boundary up just a little bit because we've already suffered enough disappointment Let's not repeat the same cycle. Let's take a look at why we made some choices of the people we made choices for and see what needs to be done in here so that we don't continue to make those choices. The third week, we have the oppression card, which is like the devil card. So this could uh, be a Capricorn coming into your life. Um, however, uh, I'm really feeling like... Um, those people that that have that you've suspected their toxicity, it's going to show up in the third week. That's also February nineteenth. It's also the week for the full moon in Pisces. Pisces is so right, just knowingly intuitive, not just like me, Cancers, being intuitive this way. Like I feel it, right? They man, they have a knowing, and I feel like that that. The full moon energy there is going to really illuminate people's actions. It's going to illuminate for you what you need to know. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Taurus. It's late here at the Chateau. Um. So, beware of codependency. Beware of people trying to glom on and attach themselves to you um, because they themselves haven't really gone through their own awakening process. They themselves need you to complete them somehow. They haven't done their own work. Be aware Be aware of that. I can see with the Nine of Swords, this is going to keep you up a little bit. Okay? But these issues are not yours to take on, Taurus. These are not your issues or someone else's. Don't get into the codependency-ish, Okay? Page of Swords, be willing to have a new way of viewing, assessing, thinking, communicating your needs, your wants, your desires, what you know is of your highest life, yeah, what you know is of your highest self, and be willing to communicate that, and be willing to say to somebody, I can't get involved in your stuff. I can't get attached to your stuff. So if that is going to preclude us from working together, then maybe we need to, mm. or if it's a new relationship, I can't fix you, honey. I can point you in a good direction, point in the, the channel if you need to. Um, I can point you in the right direction, but I can't fix you. Okay. So this is, you're going to find a renewed way to say this uh, without coming off like mean or whatever. And you're going to find a renewed sense of, um, hey, it's okay to say it, right? It's like perfectly fine to say it. Um, we're going to close the month out with the magician. Now, um, so that means be very, so I'm going to say that's right. That's overall good. Manifestation energy high at the end of the month. I'm also going to say this though. Be very careful what you manifest, beloved. The answer is always yes, even if it's not good for you. 
you will get what you want. Remember that justice card? You get out what you put in. So be careful what you're manifesting, and it's from your higher self. This should be very abundant. Should get you into abundance with the Ten of Crystals. But balance with the Temperance card. Okay, could be a Sagittarius involved. Balance, beloveds. Balance. Balance spirit and logic, the third dimensional and then the higher dimensions. Balance hearing and being spirit-led, yet being rooted and grounded in this earth. Okay, it is a delicate balance that the life that we live. Balance. Listen. Patience. Don't and don't be stubborn and pig-headed. Be willing to do new things. Be willing to think about things correctly. Alternatively, if you don't, it's going to be left out in the cold time. And actually, honestly, a lot of these choices you're going to have to make, you're going to have to make them solo. And it's going to feel like you're left out in the cold. And it's going to feel like everyone else has just like completely like abandoned you. Don't get in your feels. They're being moved out of your world for a reason, Taurus. Yeah. Remain hopeful with the star card. You have the temperance and the star card. These are, these two are very, very similar. And I'll tell you why. They're both uh, an individual giving, emptying out themselves completely and saying, I want to be led and guided by the spirit. One says, I want to get balanced so that I'm rooted and grounded. The other one says, my hope is here. I am looking upward. I'm looking outward. I'm not looking towards myself. I am looking to God, to the universe, to the great spirit. I'm looking to you to provide. I'm looking to you to complete the process. And I'm okay with my not completing the process on my own. I'm okay with not having to know every step of the way. I'm just keeping my intention and my hopefulness and my faith and emanating from my very being, my heart chakra, my very essence of who I am as a spirit and divine person, individual, and as a div as divinity, as infiniteness. I'm emanating from my divine self, the hopefulness and the manifestation energy necessary to bring my best life into the present. Grab it out of the future and bring it into the present. Don't concentrate on the past. Let it go. But bring your future into your present. That's what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hit that like, that subscribe. Leave me some comments. Let me know how this resonated with you. If you wish to work with me through energy work, spiritual coaching, or readings, check in the um, description box below. Also, please do check out my website and the link for the spiritual conference that is going on right here in Madison, Wisconsin, March 8th through the 10th. Have your face in the place. Propel yourself into purpose. Really grow those gifts. Get Reiki one attuned. Get some self-healing um, tools. Go deep into the things of the spirit. And let's bring out some of those gifts that you have so that you can walk your purpose. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you guys. Namaste.